Hi, everybody. It's Ernesto, licensed marriage and family therapist and owner of oh, how many businesses? Um, Filmit.com, Cav Academy, Cav Family Therapy. But I'm here uh, to do these videos to encourage you to attend the Not Your Typical Psychotherapist Summit in South Florida in May. And there's a lot of great things going on. And I have here my friend Josie, who is Hi. a psychotherapist in beautiful, sunny San Diego. She attended yeah. our last psychotherapist, uh, not your typical psychotherapist summit uh, here in May and uh, or here in Anaheim. And I wanted to give you just a quick snapshot before we go into a conversation with Josie that uh, not your typical psychotherapist, the, 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 the goal for it or the philosophy of it is that many of us in the psychotherapy world are very entrepreneurial. We're creative. We want to step outside of the box of the normal clinical therapy that we do. Because some of you guys are doing businesses, writing books, doing conferences, and doing things outside of the box. So the not your typical psychotherapists are those for you who are just outside of the normal <laughs> thinking of psychotherapy. And I've got Josie, who is not really typical in anything. <laughs> Especially technology. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, took us about 20 minutes just to get her on right now. But you know, I'm so glad. See, you're on. Oh my gosh. So Josie, go ahead and introduce yourself to us. Yes, my name is Josie Oakley. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist and play therapist supervisor. And I just opened my practice a year ago in November 1st. Oh my goodness. Congratulations. Thank you. So do, what was it like to open up your own practice? Scary, nervous, but determined, mm. and um, I didn't know what I was doing. Wow. wow. Business like, like many of us, because unfortunately in grad school, they, they don't teach this stuff to us, right? No. So what, what, what were you like, you know, your emotional situation, and how did you get to the place where you wanted to attend or you attended? you know, the not typical psychotherapist, where were you in your mindset and, and where were you professionally? Right. Well, um, I opened my practice in November and the summit was in May. So I don't know, what is that? Four or five months later. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The, I was at the place where I didn't know anything about business, but I knew I wanted to have my own practice. Um, I I was at a place where um, I just felt I was always made small hmm. and I um, wasn't, it wasn't gelling with me. It wasn't, right. it wasn't so helping. You had, you had a lot of big ideas, but in yeah. your sense, it, it was just inside of you. It was inside of me and I didn't know how, I didn't know how to do a business. I, I kind of still don't. I'm just going by the seat of my pants, although I'm learning so much. Um, so I, so that was that. And then I was really, um, the name, not your typical psychotherapist just rang so true to me because I never really felt like I fit going to <laughs> conferences, you know, like there's nothing wrong with being professional and dressing professional, but it just was so, it was work for me. And I, you know, mm. like get your packet with the fill in the blank notes and the, all that. I just, it just, there had to be something more. Wow. Wow. I had so to you, fit in somewhere. Yeah. You know, well, we're, you know, as psychotherapists, you know, we're, we're kind of trained to be in that professional world. And yes, you could do that. Absolutely. You could do that. But there's so right. much more in our field to be creative. I mean, you're a play therapist, right? Yes. You have to be creative. Right. And then go to conferences and it's, um, it just, it, I was just getting, I don't know, frustrated. What didn't feel authentic for those things yeah for yeah, me for me yeah. and and you were around a lot of energy at, at that time that really had that same type of view right we're, we're, we were looking yes. for connection tell me more about that well um i i let me think a second mm -hmm. 
I was, I realized that I was surrounded by a lot of people, well, maybe not a lot of people, maybe a few people that I worked for, but that were like, they were like keeping whatever the secret was mm. to be successful in a business, a, in a therapy business in their back pocket and they weren't sharing any of it. In fact, I remember like I, this was my mentality as far as money framework goes. I thought I got to get on insurance panels because for sure they'll pay me like, I don't know, $70 or $100 instead of maybe $50 cash, right? I mean, that was where I was. And um, the person that I worked with did not want to share with me how to even get on insurance panels. Wow. Um, until I, until I left and then got an email that said, okay, now I'll share with you how to get on insurance panels. So it's, so it's, it's one of those scarcity mentality, right? Exactly. That competition mentality. Exactly. And I didn't, I wasn't about that. So that was where my, that was what I was coming out of. Hmm. And sure. now, and now when you attended, you, you had a lot of people, even on social media, that, that's sharing content like crazy. Here's some information for you. Oh, it was like, it was so great. It was different than what I was coming out of. And, and it, and people were happy to share what worked for them, what didn't work. It was like, and they were encouraging. And I thought, okay, I found my people. I found yeah. my people. Yeah. which was awesome when you're just starting and and you're isolated and you don't know anything about business but you're a great therapist and you're not fitting into the box so you want to try things and learn things and how wonderful to have people that were all about sharing what they knew sharing what was successful for them you know encouraging yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah, yeah that, that, that room had really had an energy of collective abundance, you know, yeah. because many of us are, are far along the way, but also starting. So there's a whole niche, right? And so it's like, hey, how can I help you be better? And so that reciprocity law, I, I totally believe you give something without anything in return, that thing is going to come back to you. And I yes. totally believe that. Yeah, it was awesome. And the speakers that you had, they were all, like, everybody was the same way. Everybody just wanted to share what they knew. They were all about, you know, including you. And you, it didn't feel like there were a bunch of professionals who somehow knew the secret. And I had to try to figure it out and decode it mm. myself. It was mm. like there, everyone came alongside you. They <laughs> laughed. They were, like... They dropped there F bombs. Wasn't this coldness. Oh my gosh! Yes, <laughs> it was fun. It was. It was. I could relax. I could be authentic. I it, for an insecure person who's just starting out, it was so. Um, it was refreshing hmm. to be with all the people that were there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was awesome. It, it was. It was a fun energy to see. You know, because my goal is really to. Um, not only have uh, the professional setting to learn, but mm -hmm. really to connect, you know. I, and for me, I, I, I want to walk into a, uh, a conference, a summit, where I can just wear my T-shirt, you know. Oh, my gosh, yeah. It, it, that was so, I mean, everybody could dress like they want. I'm not saying that. But what it means for me, like, I, could, I don't have to look like a professional therapist who's successful. Absolutely. When I'm just freaking starting out and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It, and the thing is, it's okay to not know what you're doing because there's a lot of yes. people out there that will help you. Yes. In this environment, yes. Mm -hmm. But coming from a scarcity mentality, it, um, it wasn't what I was used to. Mm -hmm. yeah. So would you say that um, you've done – your journey to professionalism and to moving into who you are as an entrepreneur somewhat got sparked during that time. Because, you know, as an entrepreneur, it's always a continual process. 
Right. 100%. Because it, it wasn't just the having community, but the people that are in this community, the speakers that you had. I mean, I got, um, I just came from Carrie Nola's health or was it healing healing code, code. live yeah, yeah. which was awesome and it was at your summit um the not your typical psychotherapist summit that that started there where she was a speaker mm -hmm. and she was talking about our money uh, mindset and i realized so much about myself and how i thought about money and sometimes it's there sometimes it isn't and that goes way back to when I was a kid mm -hmm. and my dad was a tuna fisherman and when they had a good catch there was money and we shopped at Fashion Valley department stores mm -hmm. and when he didn't have a good catch there wasn't money and we didn't have a Christmas tree mm -hmm. like so money is there and sometimes it's not that's how I was treating it that you know I'm lucky if it's there I'm not if wow. it's you know it doesn't stay and all of that I learned from Carrie Nola talking, speaking at your at your um, summit. It was awesome. And, and these are some things that we want to confront in our professional world. And you know, things just needs to be sparked because you know we we grow in professionalism and success throughout time. It's not like you attend one summit, one conference, right. and then boom. Because as a therapist, an entrepreneurial person there's always ideas that come up i know for me if i wake up at 4 a.m there's gonna be some damn idea that's gonna be in my mind i'm like <laughs> oh i gotta make this happen but absolutely you know so you're starting the process so what is it like now for you i know that there's emotional roller coasters. <coughs> excuse me emotional roller coasters all over the map but you've started the process yes i realize well the process um you're right. It never ends. We're always, we're always learning and growing. I became, um, I hope I'm answering your question, but I, I, I was all about, I finally got people that were happy to share and guide and give information. And then I got a little bit crazy. I got a little, <laughs> I got a little bit like, Oh, I want to know what this person does. And oh, I need to learn about this and I need to learn about this to where I would almost panic, like, you know, that I was going to miss some bit of information that I needed to get. So I would get everything leaning on everyone for Ooh, you were what hungry I needed to, to learn. Do. But about recently, like maybe a week ago, I realized wait a minute. I own my business. You know what I mean? And what a great place to be when that knowledge came in my head, when, when I got that in my heart, like, hold on, you don't, you know, learning from other people is awesome, but don't give away your, um, I don't know, you You're own shy. it. You're yeah. Own what it. works yes. for you, it works for you. Right. You, know, you pick and choose what, what works for other businesses that may work for you. And then yes. put aside some things that may not work for you. Right. Realizing that I own it, I be, I um became I took up space. I became visible. I became like a person. Previous to that, I I learned that I would become invisible wow. because I didn't fit in. I didn't know enough. I didn't achieve enough. I'm, I don't, I don't know. I'm just, wow. I'll just attend, but I'll just not, I'll be invisible. Right. Right. But realizing that it was that I own my business, you know, that empowerment that I'm sure I've learned from the people that I, you know, in the community and the speakers, I learned that, you know what? I am not invisible. And once I l became that way, I was a completely different person at like this, at Carrie's retreat that I just came from. And it all started at the Not Your Typical Psychotherapy Summit. I talked to people and I wasn't nervous. 
I didn't know, I wasn't like, oh my gosh, now we have to break up into groups and, you know, do this little exercise and I don't want to talk to people and I don't, you know what I mean? I mean, I don't know if anybody else is like that, but that was my experience. Wow. wow. So you, you, so you had a psychological and emotional barrier prior to, yes. once you saw that there was an emotional psychological barrier, like, uh-uh, th- I don't want that. Yes. So you started slowly breaking through that and now you're, above it yes. but now the true work comes right yes oh yes <laughs> it doesn't end <laughs> right right once you start saying oh there's a huge possibility now i really have to make sure that i'm accountable make sure that i uh, um, keep track of all of these insecurities so that it doesn't overwhelm yeah. me and paralyze me it's so tied it's so like who we are our personal development and our business success is so connected. True. Y- you can't do one without the other, I don't think. No, you cannot. You cannot. Because, you know, once you start holding the money, once you start doing accounting, and then you're running a successful business, and then social media, all your stuff comes coming out, right? It's, mm-hmm. it's the, you're not enough again, and you don't know enough, and you will never know enough. That comes up creeping up once in a while. And then next thing you know, self-sabotaging behaviors come out. Right. Right. So you need your people. You need people who have that mentality, the same values that you have so that they could walk alongside you and encourage you and be like, you know what? You may feel like that, but it's okay. Like it's all going to be okay. It's going to work out. Just like notice it. You know what I mean? It's yeah, for the, for the past few years, <clears throat> my motto in life is keep moving. People tell me all the time, you know, wow, you make that look easy. You got businesses here and there. You're exploring this and that. I'm like, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> it may look easy, but I got to tell you, if I tell you that I don't walk in fear, I'm lying to you. Mm-hmm. Because you just have to keep moving. There is no, everybody talks about this whole you, you got to be brave and all of those things. That's great on paper and saying it out loud. But I'm, if you, you have a big idea, if you have a big goal, and if you're not experiencing some sort of an anxiety or fear towards it, that's not a good place to be. You know what I mean? You have yeah. to have that type of holy F. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going into this because that is healthy. That's actually normal. Yeah. Well, I have a lot of that. <laughs> You're not alone. So if someone is watching this video and they go, oh, what is this not, not your typical psychotherapist summit? Would you recommend it? Oh my gosh, yes. And it's fun. We got Rick Rolled at the summit. <laughs> Good food, right? Was, oh my gosh, yeah, that was another thing that was different. You were talking about what I expected going in. You know, I thought we we're going to break for lunch. I had to go find a place to eat. Ernesto, you, it, I felt so cared for uh, at your, at your thing. You provided lunch. It was amazing. There was music. We were laughing. We were learning. It was 80s music. It was 80s music. So there's that. Yes. Awesome. Is it going to be that way in Florida again? Absolutely. And also at the Kauai Summit, a Kauai Conference, which you're going to... Yes. <laughs> so, absolutely. So, he, here's the thing. Uh, I'm all about community. I'm all about connection. So, from the moment you walk in the door, uh, you have to feel a sense of connection. And I believe that food does it, you know? So, instead of doing the breaking out sessions, um, I would love for people to sit and have food and just have a conversation while music is playing, you know, and just chilling out. That is, that is where success is, right? Yeah. It was so fun. It, it just, everything just pointed at connection and Mm -hmm. learning and sharing and growth. It was really, really great. And I was so excited. It was next to Disneyland. (laughs) Now I'm excited. Now I'm excited that I'm going to Florida. I know it's and right by the beach. Yeah. Yeah. So Josie, thank you so much for, for your time. I am just, just excited where you're going to be. Right. And 
and you are welcome uh, in in my in my circle. You are absolutely welcome to express your your joy, your fear, your success, because no matter what, we will celebrate with you because you're not the only one. <laughs> There's times when I wake up in the morning going, what the hell am I doing? Oh my gosh, I'm going to have a panic attack. Why am I? And then next thing you know, I'm like, what? Just knock it off. <laughs> right. Oh, it's just being human, I think. Absolutely it is. Yeah. So, All right. So for those of you who are on the edge of registering, Please don't be on the edge anymore. Click on the link above. Yeah. Attend, have fun. Food is going to be served. The beach is going to be right there. And it's in South Florida. Yeah, I'm so excited. And if you are, uh, if you want to go on a cruise, the, the, what do you call it? The, the cruise ships are literally 10 minutes away. <laughs> so you can plan it out if you want. <laughs> plan your cruise. Plan your cruise after the Not Your Typical Psychotherapist. It's amazing. I haven't traveled so much as when I've connected with this group that I have now. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. It's deductible. Exactly, exactly. Well, Josie, thank you again. You are amazing. And I see you. I see you. I'm All not right. invisible anymore. No, you're not. Yeah. All right. Aloha. Again, this is Ernesto, okay. licensed marriage and family therapist and creator of Cap Academy. Please register. Looking forward to seeing you at any of my conference or summits. Aloha.